guys, so here's the thing with virtual school this year. Um, we're not in the classroom, and so I figured that we could take you wherever we wanted to go, which that's kind of nice, right? So where I've taken you today, keep in mind this is Saturday before school starting, so I am in fact in Texas. If you look around, they're not here. It's just flat Texas. As you can see, we're obviously not in Houston because there's just not enough trees. But why do you think that this area matters? Well, it's because about a thousand years ago, this is where the Caddo Indians lived. Yes, you heard that right. We actually did have Native Americans here in Texas, and they played a vital role in the development of the United States and in Texas later on, okay? So with the Caddo Indians, what we want to know about them is how did they live? Uh, what were some of their practices? Maybe did they have a form of government? What was their religion? Did they trade with anybody? Well, the answer to that is actually right over there. So take a look. This doesn't look like much. It's actually looks just like a mound. It really is. It's a mound of dirt, except for it's hollow. They actually put things into this mound. And as you can see, obviously they built it pretty well because it's still here today. Actually, it was bigger at one point, but the land settled. So why do you think this mound matters? Because number one, it tells us that this tribe was tied into a larger network of Native Americans called the Mississippian groups. Okay, so that means that what we're seeing here, we also saw similar structures in Illinois, in Louisiana, and in Arkansas, Kansas, some of those areas. Well, what does that already tell us? If we're seeing the same thing here that we're seeing in Illinois, they're talking to each other. This is a trade route. Well, if they can get all the way from Illinois to here and they can have similar structures, they're probably trading stuff too. So we can confirm that actually the Native Americans had a trade route because the stuff that we found in the burial mound, and this is a burial mound, is stuff that you wouldn't actually be able to source anywhere here. So you're finding stuff all the way from Canada, you're finding stuff all the way from the West, and you're even finding stuff from the New England area that has been brought to this place at some point during the Native American period and buried with important people. Well, it gives us another clue about, hey, were the Native Americans civilized? First of all, we're talking a trade route, but then this is the really big clue right here. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at a couple of other sources and areas around this, just so you can kind of get a feel for what was the Native American culture like, what was going on here, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.